our journey is beginning and we like to listen to music in the car as you can see we like to dance and have a great time because this is the start of every great vacation and we have a blast <laughs> and then it's back to dancing this is on our way to LA and we were surprised how uh, yeah there was hardly any cars on the road so um, but this is gonna be a video that shows you how safe we can travel <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> so I'm in the hotel now and it is the most bizarre thing because nobody's here. Like we even drove down to L LA and normally you would be in so much traffic and there was nobody on the road. It was so weird. So when we're walking through, there was like, there's, I actually bump into more people in the, um, the grocery store than I do here. I mean, we were walking everywhere and some people have masks on, some people don't, but you, you're so far away from them. It's, it's really strange. Um, so anyway, yeah, um, I'll show you what I do when I go on the elevator. Okay, so when I'm at the elevator, I always kind of put my <laughs> thing like that and I always touch it even with the back of my fingers like this. I touch it like that because I don't want to contaminate myself. You want to see something else that's really weird? Normally, you're out here and you wait for a while while you're waiting for your um, elevator. Watch. I just pushed the button and it's opening. That's because there's no one here. It's insane. Here's the lobby and it's like desolate. Isn't that so strange? Everywhere you look, there's like nobody around. Nobody out here either. No, nowhere. It is like isolated. Nobody in the pool. Like normally, there would be families and stuff all here, and there's just nobody. Even here. This is a really nice fitness center. Usually they only have a few things. And so even when they have a few things, you would normally see like a few people in there. Nothing. I mean, this is, wow, it's crazy. What do you think, Lucas? Should I start my, my fitness challenge right now since there's nobody in there to bother me? Guys, look what I just found at the pool. It's really nice. Somebody left their Louis Vuitton bag. So I'm gonna take it to the lobby and hopefully they'll find the owner. So in conclusion, um, I know a lot of people were worried that I was gonna be traveling and they kept telling me to be safe, be safe. And I really wasn't too worried about it um, because we've been really safe. We've been inside of our house. We only go out like for groceries or we go for a drive in the woods where there's nobody there. Um, so I'm not, I wasn't really worried. And now seeing this, you can see why I'm not worried. There's just nobody here. So it's kind of a good thing to know that even when you have to go out, if you're safe um, and we have our masks for the airport, because I think that's gonna be a little bit trickier. Um, but yeah, we keep our hands washed. We keep our distance from people. And um, yeah, we're being really safe. So we're going to visit family. It was kind of a different trip, but a lot of things got canceled and we ended up deciding to go see family anyway. Our flights got canceled three different times, which meant we had to, it was just insane trying to make sure we could get there, but um, we did. And my family that's in Florida, they are, they have been like totally self-isolating as well. So. And we're not going anywhere. We're just going to, I mean, they, they're opening the beaches now in Florida. So, you know, we'll, we, we might go there a few times and just make sure we keep our distance. I think being outside is one of the best things when you're inside and you have all the same air. But when you're outside, you have the breeze and the wind and all that, then it's, um, I think it's beneficial. And you get sunshine and you get, you get a new environment and you challenge your immune system a little bit for the good, in the good ways. So... Yeah, don't worry, I'm being safe. And now you guys can see, 
if I'm getting sick, I'm getting sick from some random thing that hasn't been touched in a very, very long time. So I'll see you guys tomorrow when I'm in the airport.